Greetings, my friends, and welcome to Spooktober, as I like to call it. And today we are jumping into another This Week at Bungie, um, all related to the Halloween event launching this coming Tuesday, known as Festival of the Lost. Festival of the Lost is a amazing event, and I love it probably a lot more than uh, most uh, people love it. But today I'm just going to be going over most of the This Week at Bungie ties into this area right here. But of course, there was a Festival of the Lost trailer that just launched, so links to that is going to be in the description. But, so let's just get into it. So a quick recap for those of you who don't know. Festival of the Lost is the holiday, the Halloween event, to honor those that we have lost. Um, so, yeah, as we can see. But the, it's also to... It's also to indulge their sweet, for guardians to indulge their sweet tooths with candy and don awesome masks and uh, yeah. So the pyram so the pyramid ships ships loom. Europa awaits. The darkness beckons. But for now, return to the tower, grab some candy, and remind yourself what you're fighting for. So this is the tree that uh, looks like will be here. Looks like it's in a slightly different place, but uh, I could be wrong. Also, I gotta mention, I love these things. I don't know, I think they're like ghosts, but with like hive faces on them, and it's just amazing. So, the Haunted Forest is returning. For those of you who do not know, um, the Haunted Forest is basically the Infinite Forest, but like spookified, you know? Um, there's like, it's all dark. Uh, all the enemies are really spoopy, and it's it's just a lot. In my opinion, it's fun. But that's just a bit of my fanboy uh, showing. But basically how it works is you'll go into this, and you'll have different, like, reward. Um, you'll, uh, it's getting the EAZ treatment, which means that you need um, specific, like, keys to unlock uh, hidden chests. Five hidden chests, and they give you... Um, legendary engrams, they give you legendary engrams, some, um, and the two previous weapons, so Horror Story and Braytech Winter Werewolf, and also the, all the previous masks, so really excited for that to come back. Um, so, and a new, uh, thing is wrapped rewards, so there's, like, mummy-style things, there's mummy ships, there's mummy sparrow and a ghost so the ship looks awesome and i can't wait to get my hands on that um and i just i can't wait there's also uh new masks like uh the traveler like modern day traveler masks there's spiders mask spiders associate mask and a bray varix the stranger so yeah really cool and there are also new um, perks on Braytech, Werewolf, and uh, Horror Story auto rifles, so those two. Uh, here are the cool masks, so there's the spider mask there. Show your Festival of the Lost Spirit by collecting a variety of new masks and returning favorites. Acquire Masquerader Helmet from Ava and apply it to apply the mask ornaments to join the festivities, so really cool. This, I can't wait to get my hands on this emblem. So there's a bunch of new um, triumphs, and of course one of them will drop this amazing thing. So we got all these pyramids and like the dark planets. Just looks so amazing. So um, there's uh, a bunch of new rewards that we'll go over as well. Um, awesome new ornaments. Like this stuff just looks so cool. So we got... Um, the hunter that kind of looks like I don't know like a werewolf or something um but uh pretty cool I th it's definitely sort of like modified versions of armor we've seen so I've definitely seen the sort of gas mask style but it's got like the werewolf and like the zipper and all that stuff I'm not really into the whole guardians wearing clothes type of thing so eh. uh the titan that looks so cool. Like, I love the Frankenstein skin, like, peeling off type of look. The chains. That just looks so cool. 
The warlock also not too snazzy. Uh, the uh, OG vampire, uh, nice helmet, uh, tuxedo. So, uh, so there's just uh, awesome stuff. And it says, embody the spirit of of the festival with a new line of spooky universal armor armor ornaments that will bring out your inner ghoul. Hop on your broomstick, make sure your ghost equips their witch hat, and if you and if and if your ghastly endurance doesn't scare your enemies to death, try try using the one the one inch punch finisher. The new one inch punch finisher. So it looks like we're getting a new finisher. Um and uh yeah we've got guides, we've got uh, all these cool screenshots. So, we saw the mummy ship. Here is the mummy sparrow. The ghost. The rattling chains mask with the um traveler head right there. The rap traveler head. We've got the infinite forest uh right uh these things. It looks like they've got pumpkins this time. I don't remember that, but I could be wrong. Here's a look at the Exo Stranger masks mask, and we've got uh, Amanda Holiday there, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, these things, I would tell you what they were, but for new light players, I gotta keep this a secret, because these are just so, so, f like, awesome and amazing, and I can't wait for people to see this, because... Little side note, um, Harlan has never been into the Infinite Forest, so I'm super excited to, uh, take him in there and have him run around there and, you know, spook him a little bit, if you guys know what I mean. And this, uh, shows that, again, we have the tree here, and, um, this is a really cool, like, parkour thing, like, you have to, like, parkour your way up to the tree and you get, like, different, like, cool candy, because there's candy all around the, um, the tower, which is amazing. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. There's Festival of the Lost Guide. Um, I will link this down in the description, of course, if you want to check that out for yourself. But let us move on to the This Week at Bung Bungie. Alright. So, too spooky is This Week at Bungie. So this week, we're getting spooky up in the tower again. Festival of the Lost returns on October 6th. For more fright-filled fun, this year's festival is going to rock. I really hope it does, because I love this event so much. So, Eva Levante, as you all affectionately call her Space Grandma, I never knew that, has returned to the tower to lead Guardians in the celebrate in a celebration of those we've lost. We miss you, Cade. Bungie. You better reboot him. The Haunted Forest is back and filled with ghoulish enemies. This year we've added five chests to the end of the activity for five times loot. Pretty cool. To open chests, you are going to need cipher decoders. Talk to the spider to get started. Then they will drop from playing any of your favorite activities across the solar system, similar to Umbral Engrams. Similar to Umbral Engrams. Braytek Werewolf and Horror Story will both be renewed from these chests and each have new perk combinations to hunt for. So here's some of the new masks. We got the Traveler one, uh, and the Spider's Associate mask, and the Spider mask. So, again, really cool. Before we wrap up the event on November 3rd, you are going to want to complete three. Also, see what you did there, Bungie. You're, you're going to want to. Complete three of the triumphs for opening chests in the Haunted Forest. Once you finish off these required triumphs, you will get you will be able to trade in some of your some of your candy for mummified exotic sparrow, ship, and ghosts. I want the sh the sparrow and the ship. I'm gonna be changing the um definitely gonna be changing the sparrow when Beyond Light comes out, but the ghost I might pick it up. I might pick it up probably for collections purposes. Um, so speaking of bungee rewards, we also have terrifying. We also have a terrifying new emblem for free. For free, if you finish the initial quest during Festival of the Lost. Ooh, okay. Thank you. Um, I don't. 
Oh, I think that's a pin. Yeah, it says. Uh, so that's a pin if you want to grab that, and this you get from completing the initial quest. So that's the get. That's the gist of it. But here are a quick few notes that may answer some quick questions you have. So minimum power to enter the haunted forest is 750. You can hold only hold 25 cipher decoders before you need to go open some chests. There will be both earnable masks. For silver and bright dust, any triumphs involved masks do not require masks from Eververse. Bount Bounties will return from last year and will once again offer bright dust. Thank you. <laughs> um, all new Eververse items will be for both silver and bright dust, except the one-inch punch finisher, which will be available for, for silver. I might have to pick that up. I have $10 that I haven't used for anything yet, so I might pick that one up. The toothbrush is still just a toothbrush. No idea what they're talking about there. So, um, it seems like uh, Destiny 2 has been one disaster after another. It's easy to get discouraged when times get tough, but Destiny community has always come together to support those in need. Here in the United States, more than 500,000 people have been evacuated from their homes across California, Oregon, and Washington. Entire towns fired by flames. Oh. So I so um this is a this is for the uh, wildfires across um those three states so you can get an emblem and a pin I believe if you support the Bungie Foundation which is really good. I won't joke around about that cuz that's really bad I hear. All right, so next and finally next week Double Ordeal returns. So, I think that is what the hidden thing we got a couple weeks back was. was like, bonus blank, uh, bonus infamy, bonus uh, valor, and bonus blank. So, I think double, so double ordeal. I don't know what the nightfall is going to be. Um, I don't think it, they say. Yeah, no. But I think it is, um, it's amazing, and I cannot... And, uh, I know, uh, my friends have been grinding that out like crazy, and I know it's just, uh, it's a lot of fun. So, um, Festival of the Lost, Festival of the Lost. So this is, again, more of the, um, this is more of the updates that, uh, show, um, You know, um, this will this is just showing um, uh, issues that you might encounter. So, uh, inspecting a cipher decoder will incorrectly display masterwork versions of Braytech, Werewolf, and Horror Story. Um, so that makes sense. The wrapped, the wrapped and ready festival of the lost triumph refers to the restless shell as the mummy ghost when it is called the festival of the lost. When it should be called the Festival of the Lost Ghost. So, yeah. So I, th and of course, the lower half of the Warlock Bond lineage robes, universal armor ornament will experience visual texture error at the launch of Beyond Light. This issue will be resolved. A patch soon after release. So again, just uh, known issues that will um, happen. Um, So, and then these are just, uh, again, some, uh, some also just other, you know, known issues that they need to fix. Um, so, uh, I, you know, some of this stuff is for Iron Banner, so I don't really play Iron Banner, so I'm probably not worrying about that. But, um, yeah, that is actually all we have to speak about today. Really short video, but, um, of course, you know, there wasn't a whole lot. But, yeah, guys, um... Ooh, that is all I have for you today, guys. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Um, check out my stream next week. I'll be streaming Festival of the Lost, and we're just going to hop in and have a great time. And, uh, yeah, um, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!